guys, welcome back. I'm here with uh, Moira Keith, and we got uh, Teresa Roberts Logan. And I knew all those names without having to look at I'm my very notes. impressed. Wow. A lot of people are Teresa Logan Roberts. The, 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 but the, the, Roberts the, the, Logan. The, the way you do it is you're supposed to look at their nose or your ear or a certain part of their face. If you look at somebody's eyes, you basically lose while they're every saying knowledge. their name. Yeah, wow. it's like it's like a black hole when you look at somebody's eye or a camera. So, oh, well, okay. anyways, there's a little note for anybody who's being interviewed. Look at <laughs> your nose, well. Scott. But this is a <laughs> this is a, a Winterman's International Theater Festival, which happening uh, tomorrow and happening Sucks. until Sunday. So, mm -hmm. you have a guest here, um, and you're from you're hailing from New Zealand. I, believe? I live. Oh no! <laughs> no, wouldn't that be cool? It would be so much cooler if I were hailing. We have a New Zealander, but I'm not the New Zealander. I live in Pennsylvania now. Okay. I'm originally from Tennessee. Those, so don't blame them for the accent. So, okay. yeah. so the kickoff event like is happening on Thursday at Ten Spoon Winery. Mm -hmm. And what can people expect from the kickoff event? Uh, so Sarah Aswell, some people may recognize her name, is a stand-up comedian here in Missoula. And she has workshops that she does out at the Badlander oh, for yeah. women. And, yeah. And um, I called Ten Spoon about a month ago. I said I'd like to do the kickoff event and have the press and volunteers and everybody come up Thursday. And they said, well, Sarah was doing this. It's called Ten Spoon Comedy 3 nice. on Thursday night. So I called Sarah, and we decided we would combine forces because two of the women I'm bringing in are comedians. Yeah. Teresa Roberts Logan, famous HBO comedian, <laughs> just fresh off the cartoony. Yeah, National Cartoonist Society. I just came from the National, I'm a cartoonist. Oh, so really? I came from the National Cartoonist Society, Rubens Weekend, which is our big awards, and I emceed the awards, and... Um, and we gave away awards to all these amazing cartoonists. Like you meet all these just crazy, like Sergio Aragonés is like one of my heroes, nice. and everybody has everybody has a crush on him, and he's always there. And I mean, I would pay to go just because he's always there. But there's <laughs> tons, you know, of amazing, and then we give away awards in different categories and stuff. So nice. yeah. Well, uh, actually, I do want to ask you something. I'm just going to take things off gear because since you're a cartoonist. Uh, We've basically wrapped up a show here on MCAT that we've been producing. It's called Dude I Just Drew, and the whole concept of the show—it's called what? It's called Dude I Just Drew. Dude I dude. Just I Drew. Know. I didn't come up with like, the title. Dude I Just, just Drew. Drew. Like, dude, where's my car? Drew, okay. Dude, where's oh, my okay. drawing? Dude so, I Just Drew. So the whole like concept that. of the show is that two artists would go against each other. They have five minutes to draw uh -huh. uh, from a hat. They drew from a hat a topic, and they would have to. And they have to draw it. They have to draw against each other, like five minutes to draw it. I love that. Yeah. That's very fun. I don't know if you would be interested in being a special guest. I would that. do, dude. I just drew. Yeah. Where is dude? Then I it could be. Drew? We usually do it uh, live streams on Saturdays at seven p.m. But we'll make any kind of special. You know, it, uh, I would do, things. yeah, I'll do that. Oh, cool. And now it can be Dude Chica, I just yeah. drew. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like the whole season. We, do that. We, we've done, do that. We've done I just 12 drew. episodes. And we basically the whole point of the, the whole time during the show, we just make fun of each other as, we're, as they're drawn. He's like, well, wait, I'll what totally was that? I'll totally do that. that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'll give you my card at the end of the show. But let's not talk about that. <laughs> okay, so that's good. She's a cartoonist. So she's now it's like, dude, I'm going to draw. Yeah. <laughs> she's published how many books? Um, three. Well, I've published three through a major publisher. I have a book called uh, The Older I Get, The Less I Care. And I have two coloring books that I did for uh, called Posh Coloring Paisleys and Posh Coloring Madalas. But I also self-publish a lot. So I've done like a little feminist coloring book and I've done comics that I like. I like horror and I like scary stories. So I've, I do a lot of pen and ink and scary spooky things and um, then little mini comics. So. You just will never get sick of hearing from me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so awesome. I'm always self-publishing and selling at comics. So you're pretty much going to be throughout this uh, this event happening Thursday, yes. through, uh, th yeah. th Thursday through Sunday. Of course, uh, the bulk of it's happening at the Elks, so on yeah. Friday and Friday Saturdays. Saturday night. Elks. Thanks to the Elks, they've been great. Yeah. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. So Friday night, uh, we're kicking it off with Lisa Haas, who graduated from UM in 1991 with her MFA. Some... She's All hilarious. people like me might remember her and Lisa Berger did um, Rita and Inez explain it all for you, the tree, true queens of femininity. They opened it here in Missoula at the Top Hat. You probably weren't so even born. Were you 1991? No, I was born in 1991. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Well, yeah. You <laughs> may have seen it. There's so much good stuff. And uh, Irina Garden is an amazing playwright, and she's, she's showcasing some stuff here. And, um, and Irene's brother lives here, Jim O'Brien. He's a lawyer. He's, I think, lived here for 35 plus years. And the book that she is highlighting and performing from is called Risking the Rapids, How My Wilderness Adventure Healed My Childhood. Oh. And, and it takes other, place in the Bob Marshall Wilderness. Her other book is Fat Girl, and it's just about being fat, and it's awesome. And, I, I love that book. Fat and then yeah. getting 
Not so thin. bad. <laughs> getting not so thin is like getting yeah. not so bad. But she did that in five years. But it's ago. awesome. It's and awesome I brought her I really to the Women's Festival with that. So you guys years. are having two showings on mm-hmm. Friday. Three. Yeah. No, two. Three two, on Saturday. Two, two. Yeah, three on we're Saturday. Talking, now we're talking about Saturday. So yeah. Saturday, also at the Elks, Lar- Elks Lodge, starting at right. 7 p.m. And, and that's you, Teresa's doing her mm-hmm. the Laughing Redhead rants. Yeah, and my, my website is laughingredhead.com, and um, my show here is Laughing Redhead Rants, and it's stand up comedy where I kind of get a little looser about stuff. She might rant a little bit about the orange head, if you guys know who that is. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy. That guy. That tries to run things. <laughs> but we're doing that, and um, yeah, there's a bunch Lisa of different shows. Lisa are reprising their Rita and Inez, 25 years later, and then Irene is performing from her book. That's Saturday. And, and then, Maura's doing a show. Tell them about your show. So She'll Sunday, just forget um, premiering, kicking off the final in my series of domestic ramblings, it's called Life After the Burbs. It's about 20 years of being a bourbonoid in my suburban sanitarium in San Diego, and then moving back to Missoula after 30 years and the demise of that. <laughs> and then it comes up at the end. So. Awesome. And then, of course, to wrap it all up, it's Sunday. Ah, Sunday, yes. And so this is not at the Elks Lodge, it's at the Roxy, Roxy. Theater. We're, we're supporting the Roxy. I'm doing it at Roxy so I can have my name up in lights. <laughs> no. uh, so Irene O'Garden also wrote a piece of theater called um, Women on Fire. Yeah. I look at the red hair. And we're all doing readings and I'm... This is 12 I, monologues. I'm not so much an actor as a comic, but it's really cool. Like We're all doing this. So it's going to be kind of fun because you've got a bunch of comedians and actors and writers and we're all going to be doing the reading. And Missoula personalities. We've got uh, hired Annie Gard, you know, P. Greenboat and KUFM oh, cool. fame. Annie Gard and um, Michelle Richo. You know Michelle yep. who used to live here and started the uh, Fringe Festival. She lives in Bozeman now. She's going to be reading. So Irene had this piece run off Broadway for six months, um, and it was up for a Lucille Lortel Award. And oh. one actress, Judith Ivey, who some people recognize, uh, she was a Broadway actress. A lot actress. of people recognize her. Yeah. yeah. Um, she did all 12 pieces. Wow. So I, I can't imagine doing I know. that. I can't either. So we're splitting it up. Yeah, 12 so we'll, ways. So yeah. <laughs> we're splitting and it I just up thought it would be a great way to involve also Missoula actresses that I've known over the years. That's so. awesome. And of course, you know, uh, you can uh, check these uh, the in uh, the Women's International uh, Theater, Theater Festival. Festival. WITF. Um, yep. You can check them out um, on a Facebook on page. On Facebook page. Uh-huh. Um, I believe that I did see uh, Roxy put you guys online yep. as well uh-huh. on their event page right. as well. So you guys can check all that out. But a w- reminder, once again, you guys can uh, um, go to Ten Spoon Winery uh, tomorrow at 6 p.m., which kicks off the event. A lot of comedy, a lot of fun. A uh, couple shows happening at the Elks Lodge Friday and Saturday night start at 7 p.m. and then finally wrapping things up at the Roxy yeah. Sunday at 7 p.m. Yeah, great. So um, do you want to tell people how they can get in contact with you in case they have any questions? Yeah, if they have any questions, it's um, uh, you can text me. <laughs> I'm shameless. Yeah. 760-402-7757, which happens to be my birthday. Day. <laughs> I lucked out with Sprint 15 years ago. I said, can I pick those last four numbers? Oh, that's a good idea. So, so 7757, I was the seventh child. I weighed seven pounds. I was born on the Sabbath. It hasn't got me. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's the easiest. Or you can also email me at uh, Mora, M O I R A, Keefe, K E E F E, at gmail.com. Awesome. And you can also show up at the door. And, That's right. And all tickets are ten dollars. Uh, and um, the other thing I forgot to announce is that uh, we're giving um, ten free tickets each evening to each show to anybody who would like to come but feels like they can't afford it. You know, young women, whatever. So if that's the case, just text me and I'll make sure there's a ticket for you at the door. That's cool. Yeah. All right. It's going to be great. There's so many amazing people coming from everywhere and um and the couple of films are amazing oh and also the film that's being shown is a young adult um film called the changeover it's written by it's based on the young adult novel by margaret mahi who's a new zealand writer and miranda harcourt who i brought to denver 25 years ago for the women's international theater festival wrote directed and produced this film 
with her husband and and they're um, amazing filmmakers. Yeah, and Lucy Lawless, you guys may remember mm -hmm. Xena something. Xena Warrior, Warrior right? Princess. She is one Comic -Con of the leads. Person. Oh, she's Con yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she's one of the leads the in the movie. And Miranda is in London right now working on a series, so she can't come here. But when we show the film at the Elks, it's going to end, I think, at about 10 o'clock on Friday night, and Miranda is going to let us wake her up at 5 a.m. Yeah, we're Skyping with her. We're with her afterwards, so she will talk to us about the film. Nice, nice stuff. Yeah. All right, guys, the Women's Thank International uh, Theater Festival is happening this week, starting tomorrow. You guys can check it out. So thanks, guys, for joining. All right, fun. W-I-T-F. Woo, woo, woo.